In this session, we're going to cover some of the stock analytics available to users through Pyramid. To begin the review, we're going to start by looking at some of the modeling capabilities offered through the Python connectors. Here I have a Python connector that I've pulled in from one of the sources, and I have downloaded from the marketplace one of the scripts that can pull data from free open base sources, in this case, IEX Finance. One connector will use the stock price information and the other connector will use the stock sector information. Other choices here include Quandl, which is just an example of how to use Quandl. It has many capabilities for connecting to the various sources they offer. There's also an API to pull information out of Yahoo Finance. So in the first Python script, I'm pulling out stock pricing information. And in the second Python script, I'm pulling in sector information, both from IEX. We're applying the time intelligence logic to the data and pushing the whole thing through to the in-memory engine. So now that we have our stock information, you can see how this plays out. I can drag company name, um, look at all the various information coming from our Python connector. And this conveniently includes industry breakdowns, so I can filter it and whatnot. And I believe the information we've pulled down using IEX is the NASDAQ 100. However, one of the more interesting ways of using it is in a stock chart. To demonstrate that, we're going to go ahead and drop um, dates onto a chart like this and choose to look at open information. And that shows me basically the average opening price of the NASDAQ 100 over the last several uh, time points, which I think is three years worth of data. To look at this as a stock chart, I'm going to right click and choose the open high close chart, which is basically a candlestick chart. And what it does now is it offers me an opportunity to provide additional values. So now I'm going to add the rest of them. In this case, the close value, the high value, and the low value. At this point, we can't see the data because it's too fine. So that we'll start by putting a year filter on the information. And now we're basically looking at the NASDAQ 100 for 2015, plotted um, for the year 2015, and here's what it looks like for 2018. And then using the company names, we can focus on each company inside the NASDAQ 100, so we can get a better sense of how that looks. To make the analysis more salient, we'd also like to get a color plot of the data in that we'd like to know when the stock price is going down, make it red, and when the stock price is going up, make it green. And to do that, we simply look at close, compare it to open, right-click, choose subtraction. We call it the diff for the daily differential or the period differential. Take diff, drop it onto color, and using positive and negative flagging, I can now highlight if the stock is going up in green and if the stock is going down in red based on the difference between the open and closed positions on each particular day. And in two seconds, we have a very intelligent stock-driven chart. To add further wow to this, we can take the volume data, put that as a secondary access item, and use it um, using a spline area chart to draw the volume statistics for this chart in the background. By scheduling the stock data extraction to run, let's say, daily or hourly, I'm able to update the data source behind this chart on a regular basis. And together with the way we have portrayed the stock information here in this chart, it is a great demonstration of how Pyramid can bring together multiple technologies in a single continuum to create beautiful graphical charts easily, simply, and without any code.